This kid just thuds. Combination punching. Doing damage. Unbelievable. It's over. The streak continues. A couple emerging stars. Let's move ahead with this thought. Somebody is going to be the Tiafimo Lopez in 2021. <laughs> There's a fighter out there right now. It could be a belt holder. It could be a soon-to-be title challenger. But somebody is going to go from off the pound for pound list to leaping forward and onto the pound for pound list. Somebody is going to shock the world. Somebody is going to become unified champion or a major star in the sport. Tell me possibly who that somebody is in you, 21. There's a lot of young prospects, right? You got, you know, Flores Jr., you have uh, Jerron Ennis, you have Shakur Stevenson. I mean, I can go down to Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, but if we're talking somebody who's on the verge of making a big splash like Teo, it's probably not one, but obviously Shakur Stevenson because he's got real guys in that 130-pound weight class, and those are fights he can actually have to kind of cement himself and put his flag in the 130-pound division. And then it depends on who Devin Haney can get. But if I have to choose one, it's got to be Shakur Stevenson. Who will be the Tiafimo Lopez in 21, the love guy who takes the biggest leap forward? Listen, I love Shakur Stevenson, uh, one of my favorite young fighters. But I, I got to look at the whole package. Somebody that's markability, like mm -hmm. I'm not saying Shakur is not, but I'm just saying someone that has the markability, has the looks, uh, has the punching power, has that, that it, that it factor. Suspense is killing me. And I would have to say Belanga. I would Edgar have to Berlanga say will be Edgar Belanga. Interesting. In 2021? I, I, yeah. I'm have to say now, Berlanga. It, it, a lot of people would be stunned if he gets a title shot in 21, but you believe that just that almost I Mike Tyson-like New think York he, power This surge. is the thing. I don't even think he needs. I don't even think he needs a title to be big. You know, right now, I mean, he has every celebrity talking about him. That's right. You know, he, he's taking pictures with Snoop Dogg, and he's in the studio Fat with. Joe, yeah, I Tracy mean, you Morgan, name it. I yeah. mean, who? Uh, what other fighter right now in boxing right now has getting that type of exposure and that type of love? Think about it. No, there's no other fight. Knockout cell, it, man. Knockout so, but cell. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, is that he could project himself and be without even a belt, be the guy that boxing and all the fans, casual fans, are talking about. If it's about generating heat, uh, that's a, that's a pretty good bet, Berlanga. Especially if if the pandemic lifts enough that you can have fans in the garden before too long. Yeah, But, right. you know, he doesn't expect to win a title Not that in quick. 2021. So, I, you know, which, what you need is you need, you need to have a situation where things can break right for you. Tiafimo had that because he had a belt and Lomachenko was with the same promotional outfit and wanted to unify. So, so the circumstances were right for him. The, the, the person who I would see in, in that same circumstance has to be Shakur Stevenson. He faces the winner of uh, Jamel Herring and Carl Frampton, and then he has the winner of Burchelt Valdez. I'm assuming that we all think it's, it's Burchelt lined up. So that, and, and the- There's a way to get way, it accomplished. There's a way, there's right. a way the to get over, there's a way yeah. to get into that. And, it, and, it, and if, he win, if he wins those fights, he is, he is in the pound-for-pound pound list. He may be on the, uh, the, the top half of, of the pound-for-pound pound list. He's already on So he has, a, he, has, he has a way to, to get there. The other thing, if he beats Burchelt, we've talked before about people love knockouts. That's really not going to be Shakur's first thing. But the way that a fighter like Shakur can, can get over, can become a household name, is you tame the scary guy. And at that weight, there's no one scarier than Burchelt. And, and, and if, you, if you make Burchelt look bad, well, you, you really have something. You know, it's interesting when you say there has to be a path because a guy like Virgil Ortiz, who I think the world he's of. He's another one. He's a, but the path isn't there right but now, But he's been right? stalled. The path isn't there right now. He's with Golden Boy. He's fighting over on the zone. You know, if you want to get into things at 147 pounds, PBC's got all the stars. Top rank's got the pound for pound best. It's just the path isn't there. But there are so many. Attra Elvis Rodriguez is Elvis, a guy Elvis who could take a huge jump forward. But we're going to have an undisputed champion at 140 pounds, right? That's and then 40, yeah. and 47 is, is clogged up. The traffic lane's clogged up there, too. Uh, one thing we are remiss in 
is not mentioning 140. That's because, it. Because, you know, if we get to a Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez fight. Which we will. That guy's going on the list, on everyone's list for sure, too. So, I mean, and also for those two guys in that division, again, the, the, the structure, the circumstance is, is favorable. We're talking young they fighter. Have, they have a means to show that they're great. Buddy.